Good morning, everyone, um, and welcome to uh, to this video from the opening day in Denmark on the in the salmon season. The uh, the conditions this year looks really really good. There is a nice nice water level. There is no wind, which is quite spectacular for uh, for this part of Denmark. And you know the sun is about to rise just behind me, and the birds are singing. There is kind of a feel of spring in the air, and spring equals salmon. So. I'm really, really psyched. I'm really thrilled. It's a great day. Meet a lot of great people and uh, and perhaps even catch your salmon. So we fished down the first time. Yeah, there is a really nice stretch of water here, and uh, and you know it just it, it it just feels right to be back at it. You know the casts are working great. The f you, you really really feel that the fly is fishing. I I felt that the fly was fishing really well. There was a lot of times where you know when you got to some of the hot spots where you thought, okay, here goes, but then it didn't. <laughs> but that's just you know that's how it is. Now we're just sitting here on the bank, just listening to the birds, to the water. We have a few hours before the genius says it starts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All the all the old people, all the old, uh, really experienced fishermen says uh, the salmon is is gonna grab your fly from nine to ten. So there's still a few hours to go before that time, but and I think we're gonna fish a bit more before then. But it's so good to be out again. On, on the river, so get out here, get out there, go out and do some fishing. That's what matters, that's what counts. I fished with the uh, the caught gesture, um, and I think I'm gonna give it another go, because, because why not? <laughs> like with a lot of other things, so. But it's just so great to be here. No frost, no wind, really, really, just amazing, amazing conditions. Now all we need is a salmon. The river we are fishing today is uh, Schiano, um, and uh, and we've we've chosen this particular part of the river because it's it's really scenic, and also because we uh, we think this this stretch of the river will uh, will hold a salmon. Uh, we're fishing today on a, on a fishing union's uh, water. Basically, in Denmark, uh, much of the water are are distributed between a lot of. Uh, a lot of unions you can you can simply just pay to be a member of this club. It's a fishing club, of course. Of course, a, f a fishing club. And you can pay to be a member of this fishing club, and then they'll have a lot of of water on on different rivers and stuff. And uh, and this uh, this particular fishing club is is based in in Herning. Um, um, and they were so kind as to as to let us fish here for the day, uh, to make a video and and to to see if we could uh, catch a salmon. Um, it's been a nice day here. The, the the river here is relatively small compared to how big it gets further downstream. So so the gear we have we have uh, lined up today is is relatively light. Um, I use my uh, my trusted Nam uh, 12.3 feet uh, 78 
casts around 29 grams, it says on here. But the line I have on here is, is only 26, but then there is the tip as well. The line I'm using here is the uh, Rio Max... Game Changer. Rio Skagit Max Game Changer. And it's, it's floating intermediate sync 3, sync 5. So the, the actual name of this is about, it, it takes up this much space in the web shop. I think, I think they, they're the only way they can, they can make these even longer is to call it Max Power to the Limit Extreme High Level Fire or something along those lines. But you know, <laughs> I don't know where they come up with these names, but um, perhaps we'll one day see one with my rent just there. Um, um, on this, I have a, a Sync 6 tip. Um, but basically, the fishing here is uh, the, the the name of the game here is to get down to the fish. So so you you have to you have to use sinking lines, um, and uh, and and the the key element here is to the, the way you know that you're fishing correctly is if you snag every now and then. If you if you can feel your fly bouncing off of the bottom uh, every now and then, then you know you're, you're you're fishing the right way, and, and it has to be like that. That's also why the leader here is is very very short. It's only about I don't know a meter and twenty or something, um, and uh, and then of course I've tried today with the uh, the caught gesture and also the uh, the uh, rubber rocket, which is is a fly that that both flies are uh, flies I think are particularly well suited for this. Um, Stefan has been using his trusted uh, NRX Plus, um, eleven feet uh, eight weight. Um, with his uh, his waterworks speedster reel, and he has basically the same line setup, but his his rod is a bit heavier than mine, I think. So he has the 450 grains. I only use the 400 grains. And um, these uh, these scatjet heads are really really short, uh, 5.5 meters, I think, and that is something that that really is is great for for a smaller smaller river like this because. Uh, it's it's so easy to uh, to uh, to to switch cast and to and to roll your fly just across to the other side if if your if your shooting head is relatively compact. So, so I'm I'm fond of these game changer heads. Um, I think they they really perform well and and do the job uh, great. And um, they're also pretty nice for um, for Norway and stuff because they're fairly easy to cast. It's basically just point and <laughs> and your fly will go there. Um, but um, we've been fishing now for six hours or so, I think, and um, and um, we're still going strong. We're a bit tired. We got up at around we got up at four, I think, four in the morning. Um, uh, just had some lunch and stuff, and um, I think the you can see that there are not as many anglers at the river now as there was uh, earlier today. Um, so we basically have this magnificent stretch of water pretty much to ourselves now. That was just the current. I thought I heard a fish, but um, that was probably just my imagination. So we're gonna, you know, continue the, this this magnificent grind for at least a few hours more. Let's see. It's late afternoon now here in the uh, in the the river valley. Um, this this opening day has been perfect in almost all regards. We have met a lot of really really good nice old friends. We have we have seen some fish caught. We have we have listened to the birds. We have you know have had probably the best weather I've ever experienced this early in the season here in in the opening uh, on the opening day. I'm, I'm sitting here in short sleeves, just enjoying myself. Um, so, the salmon fishing is has begun, and that is really, really, really awesome. Um, salmon fishing is is a great way of of fishing because um, uh, most times you have this stretch of water that you're gonna fish, and then you can take a break, you know, and just enjoy being here. And then you can fish that stretch of water again because the fish are migratory. So, so it can be you know the first one in line, or the, it can be the fifteenth one in line who catches the fish. You know, as long as the fly is in the water, you have that uh, that fighting chance. And uh, and to me at least, salmon fishing is 
is one of the most exciting, thrilling, but also um, also frustrating uh, types of fishing. Um, because there is fairly far between the uh, between the, uh, the the fish, so 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 uh, some people get a bit competitive, but but I don't think that normally is something that that helps you in regards to salmon. What I find is that the best way of fishing for salmon is actually doing a lot of what I'm doing right now, just being. Take a break, sit on the bank, and just be, because that's. That's really, really important that you, you let the water rest you, you let yourself calm down and stuff in order to be able to catch a salmon. And, um, and what I find is that, that I know a lot of people out there um, perhaps isn't a salmon fisherman yet. And, uh, and, and to all of you out there, um, I would like to, uh, to urge you to, uh, to think really, really hard about that decision, the decision not to be a salmon fisherman because salmon fishing is in my book some of the best some of the hardest earned but also great rewards of, of all types of fishing and and to to be able to to hook one of these big big shiny fish is just it's just out of this world so so um, if you have any questions Anything about uh, that that we can help with here at, at Nordic Anglers in regards to salmon fishing, then do not be afraid to reach out. Um, I am I am not constantly on my email, not today at least, but but otherwise I'm I'm there all the time. So uh, so send me an email. Um, it's Daniel at NordicAnglers.com, and we will be more than happy to uh, to help you in any way we can in order for you to to get started with this salmon fishing. Or if you have any questions regarding the salmon fishing here in Denmark or or in Norway for for that matter, or anywhere basically, um, because if you enjoy fly fishing, and I assume you do, since you tuned into to this YouTube channel, then I can I can guarantee you that you will love. You will love this. You will love the salmon fishing. I felt completely for it, at least. And uh, <laughs> and once you go there, it's hard to go back. So um, so do not cheat yourself of experiences like these. Um, and um, and get out there. And go swing for steelhead if you're in in the U.S. or go to Canada fishing for cohos or or, or, or whatnot. But but go out there and fish for some of these big migratory fish, in particular uh, the, the Atlantic salmon, because they are, they are awesome. <laughs>